hot lava. Whoa. You can see my hand comparatively on that scale. Look at that. 80 degrees, almost 80 degrees Celsius. What a cool image. All right, so you know I'm always on the hunt. I'm looking around for interesting smartphones that are out there in the universe. Today, I believe I have one of those things. I have covered devices from this company in the past, and they're always there's always some sort of take that they have, some sort of extra sauce they put on it, whether it's a gigantic battery in some cases or an ultra rugged factor, military spec, or in this case, a full-on thermal camera by Fleur and the rugged component and aspect to go with it. This is called the Armor 9, which is their latest device. And uh, it's maybe the first phone I've ever featured with a thermal camera. I know there have been others in the past, but they just haven't shown up here on the show. I think Cat did one in the past. I Look, I don't really know who it's for. I suppose it could be for maybe uh, the contractor types. They have to be able to quickly scan for a heat signature. Would a hunter want to use it? An outdoorsman? A park ranger? Is That's where I always like to go because I like to imagine potentially my life as a park ranger, just in the Jeep, watching the nature and, uh, and breathing the fresh air. I like to think about that possibility and I might have a phone like this if that was me, it's quite possible. Now, they took it a step further with the case on this thing because it's already rugged to begin with. Then you slap this accessory on there, anti anti-shock absorbent TPU cor corners, rigid plastic body protective case and so on. And it's even got a carabiner so then you know it's, re it's real full protection when you combine the two of them. So let's check this out and uh, let's try out that thermal camera to see what that thing is like. Now, maybe you've got a better idea of how to utilize that. You can let me know down in the comment section right now about exactly what you would do with a thermal camera on your smartphone. All right, so unboxing experience. What do I do? Oh, it's a two for one. Very interesting. What is this piece on the, what is this? IP67 endoscope. Hang on a minute. I didn't even know this was in here. That's a camera? Or is it just a flashlight on a scope? I don't know. This is wild stuff, guys. It's not your everyday smartphone setup. This one says IP69K, IP68 proof. These are military specifications for water, dust. This is obviously gonna be a very rugged device. Checking the back, we have a 6.3 inch FHD display, 2340 by 1080, Helio P90 octa-core processor, eight gigs RAM, 128 gigs of storage, face or fingerprint unlock, 64 megapixel rear camera, plus that thermal one that I mentioned earlier from Fleur. This is a well-known company in the thermal imaging space. So you've got a little bit of background there. Front camera, eight megapixel. It does have an enormous battery as many of these EULA phones have in the past, 6,600 milliamp hours and Android 10 pre-installed. So first up, let's unbox the main attraction. This is the phone and yeah, it's super rugged, holy moly. It's almost like as if, oh, it's booting up. It's almost as if it's already got a case on it. I don't know. If you, oh, maybe this is not the case. Is this just the clip? Multifunctional protective case. So yeah, you could throw in, I don't think you need to. This thing is already a beast to begin with. Like, <laughs> it's got giant bumpers. It feels like a tank straight away. It's not gonna win any awards for screen to body ratio, but that's not the point of it. It's meant to be a tank. Actually, I think my brother might like this design. All the ports are covered up as well. TF slash SIM card slot is a little trap door over here, but it might be beyond what you would open with your fingernail. Power switch, fingerprint scanner over here on the side. I don't mind that location. Capacitive touch button. We have our volume buttons over here, very distinctive and textured. I don't know what this button here is for. I think in the past it's been responsible for a sort of walkie talkie functionality. I'm not sure in this case. This attachment point looks to be for the endoscope to connect to, 
That's pretty wild, I'll check that in a moment. The back of the device, also very interesting with the camera layout, an enormous flashlight, and obviously that thermal camera over there as well. Man, you know your phone is serious when you have IP68 planted right on the back panel. This whole thing has like a rubberized texture, and like I said, I mean, you can throw the case on, but so far, it's just got a real tough appearance and I'm fairly confident in the robustness of it just upon this early inspection. Also in the package, we have a little bit of paperwork. There's a SIM card tool. There's a tempered glass screen protector, 9H hardness, scratch resistant, ultra clear. I suppose that's kind of a nice touch with a rugged phone, phone targeted at people who, you know, beat up their smartphone a little bit. You got the tempered glass screen protector in there, nice touch. There's a, a USB-C to micro USB adapter. That's kind of an interesting touch. The cable, whoa, what's going on with the cable as well? Is this for OTG purposes? Type C to female USB A, then type C to A in the red and black styling. There is a wrist strap for this phone, which I believe can connect to this little section down here. Now the whole thing feels metallic. I just realized, cool to the touch, so it's a little bit heavy, but that's, again, that's kind of the point of it. There's a power brick in here as well. It looks, it says that it's a fast charger, an 18 watt fast charger. I don't know, what do we do next? Let's look at this case next. And, oh my God, oh my God, that is a beast. That takes things to a completely different level. If you use the case, this thing becomes bomb proof. I thought it was already tremendously robust, but wow. <laughs> I said tank, now it is tank for real. That's, uh, you could throw that off a cliff probably. Still have your cutout for your fingerprint scanner. Now you might be beyond park ranger. We are fully into military land at this point. If you're in the harshest environment, uh, maybe, maybe you're gonna slap that on too. Now this is where things get crazy with the endoscope. I never imagined I would see this included in any smartphone unboxing experience. Look at this thing. I don't even know how to operate this, is it? It is a tiny little camera with lights and the whole thing is somewhat rigid and bendable so you could Stick this thing anywhere, anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere. What, I guess if you're in the trades or something, you have to look down a pipe. That's totally possible, man. You have to look down a pipe and, and uh, or around a corner or into, uh, uh, you know, the duct work or something. That's a real thing. I know a lot of people in the trades, all right? And this guy connects over here and it is, how like this look at this thing and screws in so it doesn't come detached look at that this is crazy stuff i like there's me <laughs> this is wild <laughs> it's not the highest resolution thing in the world but you could get into tight spaces like in this box over here and look with the flashlight are you seeing that i'm in the box it's incredible that's wild. All right, so we are booted up and it's kind of funny because the default background image is a thermal image and it looks like a radiator. And that's how you know they're very proud of the FLIR relationship on the thermal camera. It's the default wallpaper. Now I do feel the need to mention that likely as a consequence of the durability setup here, it does sort of seem kind of old school in the sense that the display is seated underneath. It's not laminated up to the surface area. It kind of, kind of seems recessed a little bit and it's gonna be an LCD display. It's actually fairly bright for what it is. This is a fairly stock experience. Uh, it looks like some shapes have changed. Look at this, look at the quick toggle settings. Gloves mode, underwater, Interesting. There's a button here for my FLIR. I'm gonna go ahead and allow, 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 allow. 
this is serious stuff, man. Fleur is no joke. And if you click on their website, I mean, you can see they do these, uh, they do their own dedicated devices. And to have it built into a smartphone, I can imagine for certain users is gonna be a really convenient thing. So anyway, we'll hop back over to the app real quick. Oh, we can actually see the temperature. What happens when my hand goes there? Whoa, temperature going up. 32 degrees on my hand, 32 and a half. Whereas the table is more like 22. These, of course, these numbers in Celsius. Wow, now Kirk, oh, you can see my handprint still. How long does it remain? This is too cool. Look at that, still hot right there. Cooling down, cooling down slowly. The heat actually sits there. The handprint is kind of vanishing a little bit now. Now, Kirk also boiled some water. So let's see what happens with that. That must be real hot. I've got a glass and a kettle. Oh, that's steaming lava. <laughs> cool. Look at that. 80 degrees, almost 80 degrees Celsius. What a cool image. So this is just a, a quick demonstration of the capabilities having a thermal camera on there. You can imagine the scenarios in which this might be useful. Uh, obviously there's the example of hunting for a gas leak. There's industrial applications for this, but it's also kind of just cool to have looking for a heat signature, particularly I suppose when typical cameras wouldn't work in environments where maybe it's dark or something like that. Oh my God, look at the options. There's YouTube live. YouTube live thermal. Whoa, time lapse and video. Let's try video real quick. A thermal recording with the help of Kirk here. And here we go. Hot lava. Whoa. So that's about 75 degrees at the moment. You can see my hand comparatively on that scale. It's quite a bit cooler than that. Very interesting stuff. And then the residual on the table as well. So yeah, it works. It's the real deal. That's the real tech and it's baked in here. This phone also is not crazy expensive. So the price varies on this device at the moment, but it looks like the starting price is around 450 USD and then goes up to around 600 bucks. So I don't know, these thermal cameras probably cost a few bucks on their own. And so to have it baked in and at that price, I don't know, it's kind of, I, I think it's kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool combination. What happens if I click on toolbox, noise test, compass, flashlight, bubble level, picture hanging, heart rate, heart rate, where does it pick up my heart rate? On the back. Oh, maybe it isn't. I don't know, let's see if we can pick it up. We've seen this technology before. This phone just seems to encourage the, uh, the utility. Look at that, there we go, 78. Cool. So you got the toolbox built in, you got the Fleur stuff built in. What happens, I'm curious when I press this button, please install a PTT application. That's for communication, that, that's for radio style communication, walkie talkie style communication. Let's open up the actual camera here. So by default, uh, your, your standard focal length is showing up as 64 megapixels. I'll grab the official Unbox Therapy knife here and snap a few photos real quick. So 1x, bam, two times, bam. Of course, video mode is in there as well. Here's a quick video sample at the 1x focal range. Autofocus is a little bit hit and miss at the moment. It kind of works. The 2x zoom looks pretty good. The main 64 megapixel image looks all right as well. It'll snap some half decent photos and that seems to be the trend actually in 2020 as so many of these smartphones at a variety of price points are sharing sensors and camera equipment, we're actually seeing cameras get even inexpensive smartphone cameras kind of catching up a little bit. So 
Maybe not the core focus, but you have that on there. Now I do want to check out the fingerprint scanner. I did register my fingerprint there and it's not the fastest in the world, but I mean, that works. It's a nice big target too on the side here. It's one of the strange upsides of having such a beast of a phone that could also probably double as a weapon. <laughs> I said tank is you get a huge landing spot for your thumb to hit in order to unlock it. Cause it is such a huge and sealed off device. I'm a bit concerned about the audio potential here. I'm worried it might sound muffled, but I don't know. Let's give it a shot. You can speed through the checkout oh. line with Google Pay. Never mind. At the register, unlock your phone. Then tap it on the contactless reader. You know what a technology, it never changes. Hmm. Where's the it speaker? It always changes. <laughs> oh, the speaker's on the back? Okay, so it's a mono speaker setup. So kind of showy running dust. It's wonderful. You know what a technology, it never changes. It always changes. <laughs> I had you there for a minute. I had you, you're like, what's this guy talking about? It's only a single speaker, so you can cover it accidentally, which kind of sucks, but it actually sounds okay. Let me tell you okay. something. There's already a couple days before that, that you're not reading the news as much on the Saturday and the Sunday. What a roundabout, strange vortex we just went through in the first sentence of today's show. Anyway, so you wish that it was firing at you, but this there's so much attention on durability here that I'm that probably had an impact on their decision to put it on the back. It sounds okay. It's just unfortunate that it has to be on the back of the device. What happens so if you put Monday, it down? You, you're, there's already build up. Okay, so it doesn't get muffled then there. You missed a Monday. You're or here at least Tuesday not completely blocked. Lot. Yeah, there's definitely a build up. What this means is we have incredible content today. <laughs> we have uh, an incredible. All right. Well, anyways, yeah, this is cool. I don't care. This is cool. I look at so many smartphones. A lot of them are just aiming at the exact same target. This one is not. And with this FLIR relationship, they got a legit thermal camera in there. Very refined technology. Definitely not first generation on that front. And it's baked into a device that I, I think is relatively affordable when you consider the fact that you have to get a phone and a separate device to carry around. Never mind the fact that we also had this endoscope attachment and we had the tremendous bomb proof case. It's not bomb proof. I'm just saying this, this massive thing as well. You have a unique package for somebody looking for the ultimate in robust utility in the form of a smartphone or something they can carry with them, uh, you know, on a daily basis. There it is. It is the Ulephone Armor 9.